Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Sparkle & Co. February subscription, and I'll be sharing how to create this classic glitter gradient manicure using gel polish, so let's get right into the video. Alright, so here is a look at the February 2022 subscription from the brand Sparkle & Co. This month's theme is Mardi Gras and everything super colorful and festive. So here is a look at the informational card. You can pause to read if you want to look at more information regarding the subscription bag. And now I'm just going to be going in and showing you guys what is actually included. So here is a really beautiful peacock sticker, along with the super cute paper cutouts that are included in each month's subscription that are targeted towards the specific theme. And then there were also some super cute little beads. And then here are the two different liquids that were in this bag. This first one is the dip liquid, and this one actually ended up being the brush cleaner. And then the other liquid that was included was the nail polish shade. And I will go a little bit more in depth into all of these products in a little bit. Um, right now I'm just unboxing them. Then here were some of the extra add-ons that are included in the subscription. There is this really pretty feather pen, which I thought was really unique. And then there was also a nail fee ring light that you can actually clip onto your phone to take some really nice pictures. Here is another one of the liquids that was included. This is the gel liquid and it happens to be the gel thinner. And then this package includes all of the different gel polish shades. There were three in the subscription and then here is a look at those swatches. And of course the bottles are inside. And then lastly we have all of the different tip powder shades. Um, I will go into the swatches in a minute so you can see all of the different colors. Um, but as you can see from just a little sneak peek, they are super fun and glittery. So here is a closer look at the brush cleaner liquid, as well as the bottle of gel thinner. Here is the nail polish, it's called Show Off and it's a stunning blue metallic. Here is Life of the Marty, a beautiful glitter gel. Carnival Crew, a purpley magenta shimmer. And True Colors, a blue metallic. This is Birds of a Feather Party Together, and I didn't have a swatch of this one, but it's an absolutely stunning holographic glitter mix. I really like this one. Here is Flor de Lis, a beautiful flake. Kind of a bead deal, a gorgeous glitter mix. Parade Around, a solid purple. Proud as a Peacock, a really beautiful flake. And Sachet All Day, another gorgeous metallic flake. So I am starting off with my cleaned and prepped natural nails, and I'm going to go in with a thin layer of my Sparkle & Co. pH prep liquid, and this is just going to dehydrate the nail surface and prep it for the gel polish application. So I'm applying a nice thin layer of that to all of my nails. And then once that has a time to dry on my nails, I'm going to follow it with a layer of my Oont Peel Off base coat, and this is going to allow a super easy pop-off removal of my gel manicure. Now, if you want your gel manicure to last, obviously you would skip this step and go right in with your gel base coat. Um, but for this video, I am applying a peel off base coat just because I want a quick and easy removal. So I'm applying a thin, even layer of this to all of my nails and then letting it dry completely before moving on. Now I'm going to be going in with a thin layer of my Sparkle & Co. gel base coat on all of my nails and this is going to really help the gel color adhere and apply properly over my natural nails. Now obviously this step isn't really as important since I am using a peel off base coat but if you are applying the color over your natural nails you definitely want to um, feature this step because it will um, help your manicure last as long as possible. So I'm applying a thin layer of this to all of my nails, and then once I'm happy with the application, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds in an LED lamp. 
Here is a look at the two colors I'm going to be featuring. Both of these shades are gel polishes from this subscription. And the first one is called Carnival Crew, which was that stunning purple shimmer. So I am going to be applying three coats of this over my natural nails. I'm doing three coats because I'm applying the layers so thinly that they need a little bit more coverage to the nail. Um, so I do need that extra third coat to really build up that color. Um, but I find with the Sparkle & Co gel polish formula, doing three coats does not leave the nails thick or anything like that. It leaves them nice and thin with a gorgeous color application. So I'm just doing my standard gel application routine. And once I'm happy with this first coat, I am going to cure for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. And once the nails are fully cured, I'm going to go back in with the second coat. And as you can see, the color does build up really nicely in two coats. You definitely could get away with two coats if you wanted to. Um, but that third coat really does add a little bit more depth and pigment to the nails. So I would recommend it, especially with this color. Um, but as for the application, the formula of this gel polish was super smooth. I expect nothing less from Sparkle & Co. Their gel polishes are just as great as their dip powders. And I thought for this manicure I would actually do an all gel polish manicure just because I feel like I typically use normally just the dip powder shades from the collection, but I really wanted to try something new and use their gel polishes since these colors were absolutely stunning. So as you guys just saw, I did go in and cure those nails after the second coat, and now I'm going in for my third and final coat of color. And once again, once I'm happy with the application, I'm going to cure for 30 more seconds in my LED lamp. And here is Life of the Marty. This is the second gel polish shade I'm going to be featuring. And it's this stunning glitter mix, which I thought would be perfect for a glitter gradient. So as you guys saw from the title and thumbnail, I am doing a classic glitter gradient over top of the gel base color. And I really think this is a fun manicure design to do if you want something simple, but also to add a little bit of spice to your nails. Um, so basically, it's a pretty simple process. All I do is start by applying a bead of the glitter towards the cuticle area, and then wiping the rest of the gel polish off of the brush completely and taking the dry brush and just dragging down the glitter particles to slowly fade them out while advancing towards the tip of the nail. So the bulk of the glitter will remain at the cuticle and then it slowly fades away into the tip to give that beautiful faded gradient effect. Um, I really enjoyed this color combination of these two gel polishes. I think they stood out nicely against each other while also going together really well and overall creating a super glittery fun manicure that was perfect for Mardi Gras. Alright, so now I'm on the final step of this manicure, which is the gel top coat. So I'm going to apply a thin, even layer of this gel top coat over top all of my nails, and then I'm going to cure for 30 seconds once I'm happy. And this is just going to seal in that beautiful gel color and add a really gorgeous shine. And once the nails are fully cured, I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my Happy Cuticle Co. oil. And here is the finished manicure I was able to create using the Sparkle & Co. February subscription. So I absolutely love how simple these nails came out and how beautiful they truly are. And of course, all of the Sparkle & Co. products worked absolutely great. So I will leave everything linked below in case you are interested, as well as my discount code and referral code in case you want to check out any of the products on the Sparkle & Co. website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.